What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Team Usyk, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Team Joshua. Get this. Usyk's promoter compares dealing with Tyson Fury to Anthony Joshua. Alexander Usyk's promoter, Alex Krusik, has gave a frank assessment of trying to arrange a fight for Usyk with Tyson compared to Anthony Joshua's negotiations. Team Usyk has been in talks with the Gypsy King for over three months now, and the fans still remain uncertain as to whether a legacy-defining clash will actually take place. And this is what Krusik had to say. He says, quote, It's been a nightmare, fury negotiations. With Eddie, we did some sort of job. We had three fights as co-promoters, then the two fights with AJ, so we had five fights together. According to my experience, I need to give credit to Matchroom and Eddie because I enjoy watching how they work. I like it. The negotiations never last long. It's transparent. It's open. If we accept it, we accept it. If we don't want to do it, we don't do it. There's no wasting each other's time. With AJ, it wasn't really complicated. No stress. Hmm, okay. However, <laughs> Usyk um, did have something to say about Tyson Fury. In a dramatic few days, of course, Fury offered Usyk a 70-30 per split for the fight, which most felt was a lowball offer and would be turned down by the unified champion. However, Usyk accepted it in a matter of hours and the WBA confirmed that they did not order the WBA to, the, to Daniel Dubois to challenge or to mandate the fight for Alexander Usyk. The boxing world will hold its breath over the next week in hope of an official announcement with the fight date just six weeks away. And let me counterpunch. Um, when you're dealing with different promotional companies, uh, businesses, negotiations, you do see definitely the difference. You see the difference by default. And it just makes you miss what you used to be or what you had so smoothly. You know, and it just shows you the unprofessionalism that's coming from Tyson Fury. And I wouldn't say Team Fury. I would say Tyson Fury. Um, unfortunately, Tyson Fury is a guy that for the same reasons a lot of people love Tyson Fury is the same reasons a lot of people don't. Okay, because he's unorthodox. He's sporadic. He's off kelter. He's um, unpredictable. But see... All those things I just said, he's still very manipulative. That's what makes him so unique. You know, Tyson Fury is the type of guy that he, if it's up to him, he probably won't fight anybody in the top whatever. It had to be someone like Usyk that really, really, really wanted to fight him in order to do the stupid things that he wants him to do. Okay, I want you to jump through this hula hoop that has flames on it. And then jump in a pot of piss there with your face first. And then I want you to come out and run the treadmill up. And uh, mayonnaise on the treadmill that keeping you without slipping. If you slip, you're not going to fight me. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's, he's like one of those guys. Because even Frank Warren... Bob Arum, they can't control him. But I think they like the idea of Tyson Fury is to unleash him because he does whatever he really wants to do. And I believe that. I think Tyson does whatever he wants to do. That's why I don't believe the, De the Deontay Wilder arbitration shit. I don't believe it. That's crap to me. Okay? I don't believe any of it. I think Tyson wanted to take that fight because Tyson didn't want to pay Deontay Wilder. That's facts. Regardless of how much he had to pay him, he did not want to do that, so he chose to do something else. He could have fought AJ if he wanted to. I believe that now. You know, but back to Krusik, he's seeing the differences between the professionalism, you know, and, you know, and it just shows you how different it is. Do you think Anthony Joshua would have ever jumped in 
uh, in the way of his own negotiators to say some stupid shit to sabotage a fight for him. That makes no sense at all. Like none. That's what AJ pays the people that he pays for. They work for him to do the job that he pays them to do. Not the other way around. Tyson pays these guys all this damn money that he brags on, then turns right around and says some shit that comes out of his mouth. Hey, I'm going to give you this. You got to this date. Monday. Monday is the deadline. <laughs> Nobody does that. Only Tyson Fury. But that's what makes Tyson Fury Tyson Fury. And dealing with someone like uh, Fury you know, it, it does give you a headache. And the irony of this whole thing is Tyson Fury was that one person that said he doesn't like negotiations because it makes him nervous and stressed out and he gives him anxiety. <laughs> Little does he know, dude, you're doing the same shit to other people with your bullshit, with your shenanigans, with your actions. You're doing that and giving people the same thing that you claim that you have. I guess he's trying to share, spread the anxiety around. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's just crazy. And he's like, it's been a nightmare. And it should. And it has been a nightmare. It's been a big shit show. It has. But that's what you get with fighting someone very unique, off the chain, unpredictable, um, unstable, like Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Alec Krusik, the promoter of Alexander Usyk, stating that this roller coaster of negotiations with Team Fury has been a nightmare. But anyway, <laughs> tell me what you think. Please subscribe, and you guys have been counterpunch. Peace.